Hi, Timothy Ungert here. In this video, I'm going to talk about Vim's command mode and the Emacs equivalent of that. Okay, so first off, I'm in Vim right now, and on the right-hand side, I have a org document that I created in Emacs, and that is, um, so the syntax highlighting uh, isn't quite there in Vim. Uh, but anyways, that is showing you the Vim mode specific commands and the Emac mode specific commands. I'll include a link to the HTML file that I created from that uh, in the description below, so you can check that out if you want. So first off, on this left hand, I have a file called sample.txt where I created uh, just four lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to use some of Vim's command modes to edit the file. So the first thing we're going to do to go to command mode is we, from normal mode, we're going to do the colon, and then we can put in our command. So you'll see down at the bottom of the right-hand buffer, the first command I have is 2, 4, delete y. Now, it doesn't have to be y. It doesn't have to be lines 2 through 4, but this is going to take lines 2 through 4, delete them, and put them into a register called y. So I'm going to hit Enter. And you'll say it says three fewer lines. Now, if I want those lines somewhere else in the document and I want to paste them from register Y, what I can do is go into insert mode, do control R, and then hit Y. And it's going to paste those lines uh, back into the document. Okay. Uh, likewise, I can, instead of deleting those lines, I can yank those lines. Let's say I wanted to yank lines one through three. What I can do is uh, go into, hit escape to go into normal mode, do the colon, then one through three, yank, and then whatever register I want to put them in. Let's call it E, okay? So I'm going to yank those lines. That means I'm going to copy the lines and put them into register E, okay? I'm going to hit enter. It says three lines yanked into E. Now, if I wanted to put those lines from register E into another part of the document. I could go into insert mode, do control R E, and it will paste those lines from uh, register E into the document. Okay, I'm gonna do control W L, actually go escape control W L, and I'm gonna get over to this buffer here and just scroll down a bit. Okay, and let's see, so we talked about that. All right, let's, um, okay, so, Let's look at this next command. So if I do control W H to get back over here and I go into command mode. So I do the colon and then I do to put a that's going to put the stuff from register a after line two. Now you see I have relative lines on, but after what's the fifth relative line from where I am, you're going to see the stuff from register a go in. So I hit that, and you see roses are red, violets are blue, the sky is also blue. That pastes below, violets are blue. Okay, so that's the put command. Okay, we can also do copy. So if I do 1, 4, copy 9, that's going to copy lines 1 through 4 and place them after line 9. So again, to get into command mode, I'm going to do a colon, and I'm going to do 1, 4, copy 9 and hit enter and it pastes those lines below line nine i can also do the move command so the move command i'm going to do one three move five that's going to uh, move lines one through three after line five so let's do that so I'll do a colon one comma three space move five okay and you see it's moved those lines down we can also join lines uh, so again colon five, six, we're going to join those lines with just join. And you'll see it moves. And now line five says roses are red, the sky is also blue. Okay. Uh, now we can also do normal mode commands from command mode. So I'm going to do eight, nine, normal, and then the normal mode command of DD, which is delete the line. So that's going to delete lines eight and nine. So DD, hit enter. And you'll see it deletes those two lines. Okay, let's do Control W L to get back over here. See what else I wanted to talk about. Oh, okay. Here's a really cool one. Um, so let's go back here with Control W H to get back over to this buffer. And I don't have 15 lines here, but let's uh, 
let's maybe write some more lines. So uh, we can say the red uh, C beckoned, something like that. And uh, the sky is blue. Now it is red. And there's a reason why I'm using red here, because I want to use it in my example. Uh, so we're at line 14 here. Uh, and now we'll get one more line. This is one more line, and then we'll just do red. <laughs> okay, all right, so I'm gonna save this now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the command mode. So the colon 115, so it's gonna go through lines one through 15, and then substitute a forward slash red. So we're gonna substitute red for pink. Okay, now if I hit enter, Everywhere there is red, it changes to pink. So this is especially useful when you're refactoring. Okay, it's a really cool trick. All right, I'm going to do Control W L to get back over here, and um, okay, we could we could do uh, delete all the lines, put them into register B. But what I really want to talk about is these duplicating line. So if we do uh, the command mode. Uh, command 5t period, or 5t dot, uh, so control w h to get over here. If I do 5, so line 5, let's see, if we go from the top, line 5 is roses are pink, the sky is also blue. So let's do 5t dot, hit enter, and we're getting now um, the duplicate line right at the bottom of the document where my cursor was, okay? So duplicates the line below the current line. My cursor was at the end. Now, if I want to go up a few to this line, let's say, and run that command again, 5t dot, uh, it's going to put it right below that line. Um, if I want to do something like, let's take a look at this, violets are blue line, and uh, I'll put something like, uh, let's get rid of this, and let's just do three exclamation points to make it stand out a little bit from the other violets or blue lines. And if I do uh, T5, so if I do the T5 command, you'll see that it puts the line violets are blue right below five because I did line five. Now, if I also do something like uh, T8, it's gonna put violets are blue with three exclamation points below the eighth line, okay? So on line nine, now it says violets are blue, okay? Uh, if I want to just duplicate like one line, uh, so let me just get rid of that and we'll make some exclamation points here, Let's save that. And if I wanna duplicate this line, I can just do the T dot command, okay? And it duplicates the line below. Uh, I could probably put that with a number well, no, I actually can. So let's just do T dot. Okay, so that will duplicate the line. All right. Um, let me do Control W L to get back over here. All right, and now we're going to talk about Emacs equivalence. All right. So what I'm going to do is put down Vim for a minute, bring up Emacs. Let me make this a little bit larger for you. Uh, plus here, and let me get another uh, file open here, switch over to here. Let's um, open up another file. Uh, we should have that sample.txt file that we can open up here. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller just so, uh, but I do wanna get slightly larger. Let's, let's keep it that size just so we can see the manipulation a little bit with it. And let's just pull this over just a little bit, okay? And scroll up here. All right, so we got Vim. We wanna to go to Emac. Uh, delete lines two through four and go into a register, okay? So, and let me go over here. Okay, uh, all right, so first thing we wanna do, let's focus on lines two through four. So if we go control X O here and we go down to line two, we can mark the text with either control space or the control at sign. So let's do control at there. Uh, and we wanna go down lines two through four, go to the end of the line. And if we wanna delete these lines, um, we can do uh, control W. 
Okay, so that's going to delete the lines. Now we can go to wherever we want to paste those lines. Let's say we wanted to go down after the roses are pinked, period, and we wanted to paste them there. We'll do, con we'll do control N to get down to roses are pink, control E to get to the end of the line, and then control Y to paste that line in. Okay, so it's a little bit different concept. It's not necessarily putting, putting them into a register, but it, well, it, it puts them into this thing that the Emacs calls the kill ring. Now, 30 different kills can be stored up to the ring by default. You can change that number, but 30 is quite a bit. Uh, you can cycle through the kills with, instead of control Y, alt Y. Okay, so um, now if I wanna do a separate kill and wanna get rid of this blank line, I just do control K. Okay. Um, now, if we want to copy lines one through three, or like Vim, what Vim calls yank isn't the same as what Emacs calls yank. So if we want to yank lines one through three and put them into a register or put them into, an Emacs case, the kill ring, and then move them somewhere, move to some other place in the document and then paste them, we can do that again with marking them. This time I'm going to, instead of control at, I'm just going to use control space, go down, uh, oops, Go down and mark the first three lines with control N to move down and then control E to move to the end of the line. And instead of control W, which would uh, cut them, I'm going to do alt W, which just copies them. Now I can use control N to get to wherever I want to go. Let's say I want to go below roses or pink and paste these in. I just hit enter and control Y. Now, again, if they weren't the most recent kill, I could cycle through the kills with alt Y. Okay, uh, let's go to this other one here and let's go down. So, so if I go forward here, okay, so what we want to do, go up here, sorry, go back. Okay, so if we want to, and actually I'm going to make this a little smaller. So we're going to copy lines one through four and place them after line nine. Okay. So again, that's the same concept, um, but I want to show you one other thing. So we'll do control X O here, go up. Uh, we're copying lines one through four. So I'm going to do control A to move to the start of the line, control at to start the mark, go down with control N and then control E to get to the end of the line. Uh, I'm going to copy these. I'm not going to cut them, so I'm going to do Alt W, and then I can do Alt G G, Alt G G, go to line. It's going to run the go to line command in the mini buffer. I'm going to type nine, hit enter, goes to line nine. I want to place them after line nine, so I'm going to do Control E to get to the end of the line, enter Control Y. Now I'm taking some time to explain this stuff, but once you start to use one of these text editors, whether it's Vim or Emacs, you're gonna get very fast and efficient with this. So it's gonna be a very quick movement, okay? Um, if we wanna move lines one through three after line five, okay? I'm gonna move up to line one. I'm gonna do Alt GG to go to line one. And I'm gonna set the mark with control space this time. Do control N, doesn't really matter whether you use control space or control add, I'm just showing you both different ways. Uh, I'm going to do control E to go to the end of the line. We're going to do control W because we want to move these. So to do control W and then we want to move them after line five. So that would be after roses are pink. So in this case, um, if I wanted to do alt G G, I would do five minus three, right? Uh, but there's also the end buffer. So it's actually five minus two. So I'd go to line three. Okay. Go to the end here and then do control Y, okay? And I'll also do control K to get rid of that, okay? Uh, if I wanna join lines five and six, so let's go down to line five. We wanna join violets or blue exclamation point with violets or blue. If we wanna do that, go down to line six. So it, let's say we were somewhere else in the document. I would do alt GG, go to line six, okay? Control space, set the mark, control E, okay? Uh, control W to uh, to delete it, and then backspace, control Y, okay? And now I've joined those lines, all right? So that's joining the lines. And let's see, 
Was there much else I wanted to cover? Oh, yeah, substitute red with pink lines. Let's do lines one through 10. Uh, let's actually substitute pink with red because I have it as pink now. So let's go over here. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna do Alt GG to move line one, control space to set the mark, Alt GG, move line 10. Okay, so it's marked those lines. Uh, and then we're going to do alt and then the percent sign. So alt shift five, and we're going to curie replace within the region. I'm going to do pink this time because I want to change pink to back to red. So let's do pink, replace pink with red, uh, curie replace. I'm going to do the exclamation point to, um, just replace all occurrences. Okay. So, and you'll see in lines one through 10, all the pinks are now red. All right, last thing I wanna talk about is duplicating a line in Emacs, okay? So to duplicate a line, let's go over here. We're gonna do Control A, let's, let's make a, a line that's really cool. So let's just say, uh, this line is really cool. Okay, and let's say we wanna duplicate this line, I'm gonna do Control A, and then either Control Space or the Control At, so let's do Control Space, it's kind of the quicker way to do it, I think. And then we'll do control N, so that copies that one line. Uh, Alt W, control Y, okay? So we've duplicated the line. So again, that's that's five mo movements, but uh, we can do it quite quick. We can do, you know, you can duplicate the line quite quickly once you've copied it. So I hope you found this video uh, informative. If you have some tips, so sometimes people comment on the videos like, hey, you can also do this more efficiently by doing it this way, please, uh, put that comment because it's very helpful. Um, I'm learning things with Emacs. I know a lot of things with Emacs and Vim, but I am open to a lot of suggestions as well. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like as it really helps get out to more people. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.